Beach Ball, again, this is a very well-run bowl game. Our kids had a, a great time during the week. Uh, Gary and the group did a great job, outstanding game. A great venue, great event. I mean, we did a great job. But uh, first, I want to say I'm very proud of our seniors. I want to go to senior class event, 49 wins in four years, after the 12 year, uh, three ACC titles and a national championship, four major bowl games in a row. Very proud of that group. Very uh, uh, happy for what they've been able to accomplish and in the underclassmen, I mean, uh, what they were able to do. Uh, each week, you know, we tried to get better, and I thought we competed very hard in this game here. I think we didn't play as well as we needed to, for sure. Houston did a great job. They have a great team. Uh, took advantage of opportunities, and we had some opportunities to get back in the game and make some plays early in the game, and we had some critical penalties early. I thought the penalty the first series was a very critical penalty. We had the ball maybe midfield with a lot of momentum and things that went on to change the field position, but then we had opportunities down there to make plays and did not. And then offensively, we got picked up, and then defensively, they had a couple plays. Uh, at the end of the game, we couldn't get a stop when we had to. We didn't make enough plays on offense. Had too many turnovers and what went on, but the kids competed extremely hard in the game. Very proud of them for that. Just have to play – we have to coach better. We have to put them in a better position and have to do a better job as, as far as that goes. But very proud of this team. They played hard. A 10-win season. Got to the New Year's Day 6 game. Uh, again, like I say, special thank you to the seniors and the guys moving on. Uh, they did a great job for this program. They'll always be in our family. We look forward to having a great year. I think we're very excited about going into next year. We have almost everybody back. Have an opportunity to have a – I think a very special team again, and I uh, look forward to hopefully learn from this experience and grow and, and help us down the road. But uh, I think the best is still ahead for this program. I'm very excited about where we're going, how we're doing things, and uh, I'm very blessed to be here. So, all right, thank you, Coach. Questions? Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Uh, please give us your name and your affiliation. All right, we're going to right here in the second row, please. Yeah, George Henry says he impressed you. But what was the uh, decision on the pitch kick? It wasn't Poochke. Why did Poochke pull it? Okay. It was supposed to be kicked deep. He's missed. I wasn't. It, <laughs> it wasn't Poochke. He was he was supposed to kick it deep. Yes. Okay. He's missed it. <laughs> All right. Got a follow up? All right. Where are we going next? Raise your hand. Okay. Back here. Asher. Far back left, please. Asher Altman, WCTV. Coach, just what, what was the Houston defense doing that just wouldn't allow Dalvin Cook to get going today? We just didn't block him. I mean, there was nothing that we had never seen. I mean, they just, they just beat us on blocks. I mean, they beat us on blocks. And then when we did break through, the one guy, the safety or the guy was coming down to one-on-ones, they were able to tackle well. And they got him in confined spaces, but they did it. We, we need to control the line of scrimmage a little better than we did. And I think that was a big key in what happened in the game. All right, right here on the aisle, please. Gene Williams, Warchant.com. Coach, if you could talk a little bit about when Sean got hurt and then the decision to bring him back, obviously his ankle was a little twisted up. Yeah, it's fine. It's just a sprained ankle. I mean, there was no structural damage, so you play on sprains all the time. I mean, you got, you got a long time to heal right here. I mean, it'll be swollen for a week or so, and then it'll play, but you do that all. I mean, we have four, five, or six guys doing it right now. I mean, it had, Bobo did it in the game. Bobo's ankle come back. I mean, it's not, there was no, they went next rated, no structural damage, there was nothing wrong with it, it was just a sprain, so you come back and you play on sprains. That's football. Okay, follow up back here. Coach, follow up on Sean. Can you just talk about just everything he's been through this year and what he showed you today on the football field? Uh, his back? competitiveness, his toughness, his ability to compete in the game, his willingness to come back in there and lay his heart and soul on the line. Yes, this guy's a competitor. I have the utmost respect for him as a player, as a leader, everything he stands for. I mean, he came back in through with 392 yards and has a chance to get back in the ball game. Every time we kept getting back to one score, we couldn't get to stop and then get it back, and, and that went on. But I was very proud of him. I mean, I'm sure he's going to say there's some plays he wanted back. There's some plays we all wanted back. You know, we all didn't do it. But very proud of the way he played. He led us in that group, and I think our kids responded to him coming back in the game. He showed a lot of heart and a lot of guts. All right, Tom. Tom D'Angelo, Puppy Post. Jimbo, talk uh, more on Sean Moore, the – uh, was it was he limited at all when he came back and also the interception was it just trying to make plays trying well to it was back? the first one the first one in the second half uh, the one he underthrew a deep ball one he had a, we had to do it a deep ball he, he just he just didn't get enough on it he had a little pressure in the pocket with well, the second one we had a corner route oh he just misread it so it was a flat read and a corner read and he should have laid the flat but you know just that and trying to make a play on the other than the last one was you know trying to scramble and make a play but I mean, you know, when you get in those kind of games, it gets crazy. You're trying to make plays, and that's what I think he did a better early. I think when the first one or two once we got back in, like he said, I just want to make a play. I said, no, no, just keep playing. We got plenty of time. And I thought he did a really good job. But I thought he battled well. I thought he played well. He gave us a chance to get back in the ball game. Made some really, really nice throws. He was limited, yes, no doubt, as far as running. But he could still move in the pocket and balance and then push off his foot. So his arm strength and thing was still good there. All right, 
Okay, over here in row two. And Corey Clark, Tallahassee Democrat. Jalen, uh, they were 13 of 23 on third down and a lot in that, in that second half. How frustrating was that not to be able to get off the field? And the one where you blitzed, was that just a miscommunication? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's frustrating to, you know, come out, uh, you know, on a losing end of any, any type of game. You know, as Florida State, we're just competitive. We hold ourselves to a high standard here. Um, but, you know, of course, we, we wish we could have had a few plays back. Um, and yeah, personally, I just had a miscommunication with safety. Um, we had a signal that's kind of close to another signal, and I, I missed, and he was open. Miscommunication. Yeah, Jimbo, you know, usually sometimes when teams lose bowl games like this, they'll say that maybe you guys weren't ready to play, you weren't focused, but it seemed like you guys were ready to play and enter the game throughout. Our kids, I mean, I mean, we had great bowl practice. We practiced hard all the way up. We were ready to play. Just had some miscommunication. Early in the game, we had the first drive, and then Roberto was kicking the field goal, and he slipped. I mean, you know, he didn't, I mean, he, that's why the field goal went short. He lost his footing, and, you know, we could have scored points there. We moved the next drive down. And then Sean got hurt on the second down. You know, we moved the ball very well. And then we just lost momentum. Our kids were playing hard. I mean, and then we had the critical turnover before half. I thought that was really critical. It allowed them to get a touchdown. But no, our kids played hard. We were ready to play. We wanted to play. I mean, we just didn't play as well. And Houston did a very nice job. Thanks, Eric. Question for Jalen. Jalen, have you made a decision what you're going to do as far as the NFL draft or come back to Florida State yet? Um, no, I have not. Uh, that's something that I'll, I'll talk to my uh, family about and Coach Fisher about. Um, before I let anyone else know. All right, continue with questions. We're good. Okay, over here, Gary. Uh, this one for Coach. Uh, how much of that uh, that hurry up offense that they had? They seem to be, you know, constantly up to the line of scrimmage. Did that have a big effect on you guys? I don't think. I mean, you face that every week. I mean, I hate to say it, that's more normal now than not normal. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I mean, they did a nice job of running their offense. I don't mean that. I mean, they did a great job of coasting. But as far as the tempo of it, I mean, that's – we face that a lot of times. I mean, but they executed their offense very well. All right, next question. This is for Sean. I just want to walk us through when you got hurt, carted off and came back. What what happened through all that? I mean, they just took uh, x-rays of my ankle and – they just said it was a bad sprain and then nothing was broken, so they taped it up as well as they could and I got back out as fast as I could. Okay, right Austin Lyon, Bright House Sports Network for Coach and Jalen. Can you talk about the challenges that their offense presented? You guys said hadn't given up more than 24 points in any game this year. They scored 38 today. They did, and, then, and I think offensively our turnovers had a lot to do with that too. I think offensively we set them up in field position too. But they did a great job. I mean, the quarterback's a dynamic guy. He can run. They, they can throw it. They throw a lot of screens. And they do the no huddle. And they, and they won a field position battle. I think our turnovers hurt us in the kicking game. Obviously hurt us late. We, hit the, we missed the kick and got the pooch kick. We were trying to kick it deep. And they got a return. And you know, they were having their backs against the wall a little bit. And uh, but they did a real nice job on offense. Right, did we have one over here? Jalen? Did you want Jalen? Yeah, that'd be great. I'm sorry. Yep, Jalen? Um, I mean, like Coach said, they're a good team. Uh, credit to them. But I feel like uh, we made a we made mistakes that you know cost us a little bit um, and everything else coach Fisher said. George Henry AP Jalen uh Ward got knocked out twice obviously and uh what was the mindset of the defense when Possum came back in there and you know, picked up that big because big big answer game. We didn't we didn't we didn't uh that didn't affect us at all who was the quarterback in the game we were gonna play the same way. Period. Um but I mean He's a good player, very dynamic player, great quarterback. He came in, uh, he fought hard, um, even even through the injury. And he, he got the job done for his team. Right, back here, Asher, back in the back corner, Nick, thanks. Sean, can you just talk about that moment you ran back out of the tunnel, come back and kind of what you said to your team and just maybe the, it looked like you had a moment there with the offensive line banging helmets, just kind of the Rudy-like moment you had out there. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to get everyone motivated. Uh, obviously, it was still 7-3 when I came back. So, uh, you know, I was just trying to get everyone pumped up and ready to go. All right, time for a couple more. Uh, right here, Sean, Jimbo, I mean, you said several times how a bowl game, you know, you know, next season has nothing to do with last season's mm -hmm. bowl game. Uh, but can you use things as motivation? I mean, can it be taught, can, can it help you guys in the off season? And Motivation's not, I don't think that. I think a learning experience. I mean, you learn from mistakes and the way you did things, the way you prepared, the way you didn't prepare the things you made. I mean, like that, it's hard to motivate off something in the past. And when you motivate off something in the past, that's usually false. 
when I found out. You know what I mean? You either have it in you to go be a champion and play and do the things you have, or you know, by the program and the culture you have. You know what I mean? I mean, you motivates and the passion, of thinking more of revenge. That, 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 I, I never, you know, have a lot of success like that. But you can learn from these experiences. There's no doubt. I, I agree exactly. Uh, you know, it's not about revenge in the spring. It's a whole new team. You know, you got a lot of new guys, so it's you know. So a lot of guys will be playing next year that didn't experience this game. So uh, you know, you either have it or you don't. Come come springtime, with, uh, when it comes to motivation. Okay, right here, Sean. With your ankle limiting you, how tough was it to not have a run game going to be forced to stand back there and dance around and try to throw it deep, try to get something going? I mean, I mean, it it is. It, it, I mean, sorry, it did. It, it was what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, it didn't really affect too much. Uh, you know, they, get, they did a pretty good job taping it up. So. And limited some stuff, but you know, it's fine. Sean, can you talk about the challenges that Houston presented defensively? They seem to be doing a good job of creating pressure, and, and the coverage was good on the back end as well. Yeah, exactly. They did a lot of uh, you know nice things on third down, a lot of stuff that we didn't see throughout the year, but we you know we practiced it. I thought they did a pretty good job. You know, they got us sometimes, and they did play some good coverage on the, behind it as well. But, you know, we made plays, and we also didn't make the plays over there, so we left too many plays on the field. Coach Fisher, Rod Steiner, WCXL, you said that uh, this really can be a motivation for next season, but on that note, you said after this game at 5 o'clock you wanted to be a better football team. How can you use that to be a better football team this game next well, season? look at what you did well, what you did poorly, and, and try to correct that and work on it going out through spring and what your future is, is because you recognize what the new team's personality and, and their, their identity is. But, I mean, there's always a lot of learning terms, a lot of great – anytime you get things on film, you can learn from it. Just for Sean and the coach, just one thing that you thought really made the difference in this game. It, 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 Houston led most of the way, but it, in the end, it was a pretty close ball game. What do you, what do you think the difference was? Oh, I, I think uh, you wish we could have got the running game going more. I think had more balance, I think, would have really helped. And then, you know, as, you know, having the turnovers at times. But, you know, you were backed up and taking chances. You when you're backed up and you're behind, you take chances that you normally wouldn't. So I don't look at that. But, you know, some of the turnovers early and then uh, – but just being able to run the football a little bit better, I think, would have created more balance and, you know, trying to get Dalvin more. And we had him 18 touches, but, you know, a little more in what we were trying to do.